Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and this is actually a part two of my whole using WDS, Windows Deployment Services, within a Windows Server 2012 environment, and deploying Windows 8. Now in part one, I show you guys how to configure WDS and uh, get your WDS up and running so you can capture an image. And uh, on part two, I'm gonna show you guys <clears throat> excuse me how to prepare Windows 8 and capture it with your WDS server now I have a uh, a Windows 8 virtual machine already halfway done now there's two ways that you you could do this now you need to get into the audit mode of your SIP prep on your Windows 8 now once you get to the point right here you can actually do a shift actually sorry control shift F3 I'm gonna say it one more time control shift F3 and that will allow you to get into the audit mode of the machine it's gonna reboot it's gonna log in as an administrator and from audit mode you're able to do all the goodies and what you need to do and I'm gonna release my mouse I'll try to release my mouse Oh, release my mouse There it goes. And I'm gonna grab my USB. I'm gonna get my Apple off. The only reason that I'm doing that is because uh, I noticed with parallels and you're giving control with the keyboard, your Mac tends not to like that. So um, I'm not gonna do it the second option. Uh, again, the second option is basically going inside the command prompt and just running SIP prep from your command prompt and it's gonna reboot and then you do all the stuff that you need to do. So doing the control shift F3 command will automatically bypass all the settings that I was trying to do I was trying to you know impress you guys but just try to keep it simple for you guys and uh, it's gonna reboot once it's inside the auto mode this is the point where you basically start installing all the software that you need uh, customize it the way you want it, install all the software all the patches and then once you do that it's time to capture your uh, your Windows 8, your custom Windows 8. So that is, as you can see, it takes a while for it to go. So uh, once it's completely finished and you're into this portion right here, you want to go into the desktop. Okay. Once you're in the desktop, you're going to get this right here. I'm going to cancel this as for now. And you're basically inside your audit mode. So what you want to do is start installing all the programs that you want. Uh, customize it the way you want it. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to see if I could download something real quick and install it. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to do everything live and capture it for you guys. I want to. I want to get something real simple. So let's go VLC player. That's always something cool to put on your machines. I normally actually install VLC player on all the machines in my in my office and the reason why is because it plays everything it basically plays everything why why wouldn't you want something like that on your users machine to install everything all right so uh, I'm gonna run it as is see how fast it goes I'm, I'm hoping it goes pretty fast Okay, so yes, run it. I trust it. Assuming, press OK. Hit next, next. Basically, you guys know what to do here. You're basically installing everything that you need to do on your Windows 8. Once it's completed, now it's time to capture it. Oh, so we're gonna hit. Uh, we don't want to. Uh, let's run it. Make sure everything runs with no problem. I'm gonna uncheck all this stuff. Hit save and continue. It runs. Yay. That's good. Now, it's time to uh, run the sim prep. Okay? Because you need to reboot it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to run it manually. And I'm gonna go into my C drive. Uh, C. There you go. I think it's in Windows. System 32. And the folder is sip prep. 
and you want to run this run it and what you want to do from here is you want to enter it on a system out of box experience but click generalize got it and then it's up to you I am I'm going to do a shutdown and the only reason I'm doing shutdown because I don't have my WDS up and running yet and I gotta make sure my WDS is running uh, because it's once uh, you know, once this is rebooting, I need to pixie boo on it to capture it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press OK on this. And Sip Prep is going to be doing its magic. It's going to do everything it needs to do. It needs to clean it up, package it, out of the box experience, and your reference machine is ready to go. Now, once this shut down, I'm going to start my WDS. Uh, and make sure everything is running make sure the WDS is running as is and once it's running uh, I'm gonna start my reference machine up and I'm gonna pixie boot and uh, we're gonna capture it okay so once your machine or your reference machine is completely shut down or rebooted but if you reboot the reference machine just keep in mind that you have to be quick and pixie boot into your WDS uh, infrastructure I shut it down just to make sure uh, I'm doing everything as a virtual machine so I went to my my boot options and I changed all my boot options to boot to the network first so uh, my, my WDS is running check part one for that stuff how I got all this stuff configured and uh, like like you saw I installed VLC uh, let's start my BJ reference machine it's gonna go pixie uh and oh oh again I missed it I missed it oh wait a minute wait a minute shut down so you gotta be quick because if you don't do it what's gonna happen is it's gonna do all that good stuff so you have to be quick on it and there you go let me send it excellent excellent contacting the server contact it and it's there there you go as you can see it has the two options from right here the one that you want now also keep reference of the IP address of your WDS server okay so because you're gonna be needing it pretty soon and we want to do is capture an image right that's what we want to do is capture an image we're gonna hit capture the image and it's gonna boot into it now keep in mind if something happens and you're not able to pixie boot into your reference machine most likely you need to add drivers into your uh, capture image now I'm gonna actually show you that before I even continue doing what's in the BJ reference window right here uh, so by any chance if it fails to pixie boot is most likely you need to go inside your WDS right click on your capture image right click on it and add driver packages to the image now if you're if you're using a reference image like a Dell I don't know like a Dell like a Optiplex 630 or uh, a latitude d630 something like that you need to install those NIC drivers so this is the portion where you're actually um, importing those drivers into your image so when you pixie boot with that computer to reference you actually have no problems to pixie boot from it uh, so but because I'm doing everything virtual I'm not gonna have a lot of problems okay from here you're gonna want to hit next read all the information that you want uh, pick the volume the, that you want. Enter the following information for this image. Know that you will only see volumes that contain operating systems that you have been prepared for with SIP prep. It's kind of strange that it's only seeing D. So I'm going to leave it as D. Now, the image file is really up to you. Okay? Uh, so it's really up to you what you want to call it. Uh, so I'm going to give it, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of a name. This is like the always the hardest part for me. Like, what to name it? Uh, I don't know. Custom image. Is that okay? Custom image, right? Custom image uh, version one, right? Now, image des uh, description is really up to you. You could give it like a point oh one or two point oh. It's a it's version three hundred or whatever you want. 
Uh, hit next. Now, the name and the location. So you're gonna browse. Now, believe it or not, this stuff is actually gonna be saved in, uh, into locally into your machine, okay? So what I wanna do is, I'm gonna go to my D right here, let's, I don't know, let, what, I don't know, let's, uh, I'm, see, this is always a hard part for me, guys, is actually giving it a name. It's always the hard part for me. Let's, uh, let's keep it simple as win8. Win8. Wim. W I M. Make sure that you put that extension of W I M. Hit the save. That's good. Uh, if you want to upload the image to Windows Deployment Server, which is optional, I, I'm going to check it. Make everything kind of seamless. Now, the IP address, like I told you before, is where you got to make sure that you know the IP address of your WDS which I know it I wrote it down well I wrote mines down but most likely this IP address won't be the same as yours you want to hit connect and once you hit connect it should prompt you for a dialog box to authenticate it as you can see now I'm gonna give it a active directory because again everything is active directory combined and see if I'm able to connect to it with no problem. Press OK. I'm hoping I'm able to connect to it. And the way that you, you know that you're able to connect to it is when this next button highlights and you're able to see that group name. So let's pick that group name. Remember that group name that I created over here? That's the whole point of why I created that group. Now you hit next. And that's about it, guys. That's it. Now, keep in mind, once the whole capturing, ugh, capturing, once the whole capture uh, sequence has completed, uh, you gotta remember it. It's gonna import it because we checked that option to import it to the WDS. But you have to be very, very patient. It takes some time for it to be imported into the WDS. You gotta take a, you gotta take in consideration that the the WIM image is actually being stored locally inside the operating system. Once it's completely captured, it goes into the WDS and imports it. Okay, so you also got to make sure that your reference image, your reference image, has enough space to store that custom image. Other than that, other than that, that's about it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. I'm not gonna waste your time and just wait it out until it's 100%. Uh, again, it's gonna capture it locally onto the reference machine. Once it's completed, it's gonna try to import it into your WDS, but that takes forever. So um, be patient. Hopefully everything goes well, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, peace out, thank you.